It was around time that I was looking for an escape. Well, escape and a way at the same time. I was sort of told by the family of the girl that I loved and she herself that you have to be a doctor to marry me because we are all doctors. My dad, my sisters, even I am a dentist. But the thing is, it all depended on an exam that takes place once every year and a million people compete on it and only around 2000 people get in. It's just how ridiculous that is in Iran. Bear in mind, military service is mandatory and every boy has to do it. So once you turn 18, you have to do it for almost two years. But because I was in university, I had a four year window to finish studying and then going to serve. But I already had changed my subject from Persian literature to software engineering once. And, and even if I could become the first 2000 people in that exam, which I had studied many years for, I couldn't get into another university as a medical student. I had to go and serve first. Yes, that's how government puts serving requirement for so many things that if you haven't served, there are chances that you're gonna face compromises. With that, I was trapped. I had to serve and at the same time, I thought maybe two years of military life could help me forget the things that was bothering me at the time. So I signed up. For the first 70 days I was away from home and it was training time in another city. I didn't came out of the base even to visit the city which I was in and I preferred studying for that exam instead whenever I could. Other soldiers were so used to seeing me reading books that they used to call me scientist. In that 70 days there was a break in the middle of it for everyone to go back and visit family and things like that for around a week. All that being said, training time was over and everyone was given a document with their next base written on it and mine was an Air Force base in my city. I don't have any pictures of it because it was not allowed. I honestly don't know how people are dancing in military uniforms on TikTok. It was risky for me. I could have gotten arrested. I only took one picture with the helicopter at the last day and an officer which was so cool to do it took it because even phones were not allowed by soldiers and later he sent it for me in WhatsApp which kind of got lost after I deleted WhatsApp. Even if I had it, I couldn't post it because there was a paperwork at the end of my serving in the security department which I had to sign regarding not to spread information which I had about the base. And yeah, while I was serving, I managed to convince Sarah to let me see her with so much hardship. She was in another city. I traveled 28 hours on the bus only to see a cold stone. After 8 years at that point and even with me still changing everything in my life just to marry her seemed like pointless. There was nothing, literally nothing in her eyes. I hang on for another 2 years because it was impossible for me to accept the death of everything. By everything I mean that relationship which was my everything because I had focused only to build that so perfectly that there was no other dimension to my life. That extra two years leading the number of years to ten also didn't help and just made everything worse by knowing the fact that she was in love with someone else possibly even when I was serving my country. I'm so happy those days are over and I'm so grateful for everything I have right now. Most importantly you guys. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I see you in the next one.